like surprises as I do? Well, probably you do. Anyway, what's happened recently is I got my finish kit for my RV10. And that was a big surprise for me. Well, uh, about... Uh, so, just to be precise, today is June 1st and I got it yesterday. So, uh, just uh, about maybe 10 days ago, I was talking with Vance um, and they told me that, well, we don't have any ETA for your finish kit yet and we don't know when will it be the next batch. So, just probably just deep dive into avionics for now. And you know what, I assume that maybe I will just have to wait until the end of summer. I, I, I knew that some already, you know, some builders just received their finish kits, but because the way how Vance now works, like those trains with the kits, I knew that they, they basically do this certain amount of kits for this model and after they switch over to next ones. So I was under full assumption that my kit will arrive maybe about the end of the summer and I totally focused on avionics. And now imagine myself when I'm just getting the email from Vance saying that, hey, actually your kit is sitting here, just come and pick it up. Well, it was a good, it was a really good surprise for me, but I was not ready for that. <laughs> well, first of all, first of all, my building crew, my daughters, they are still at school, so <laughs> no, not much help. Anyway, just kidding. So I got my Finnish kit, and yeah, I must say uh, thank you very much to Fred, who uh, went with me to this trip to Oregon to pick up the kit, and it was a really nice trip. We picked up my kit, and I brought it down to Canada without any issues and unloaded it. So I just would like to go quickly through this kit with you just to show you what is in the kit. Nothing special and I know that there are many other videos from um, other builders which also describe the same kit but since I did the um, show off of my wings kit, fuselage kit and tail cone I must complete this video series by showing at least what is inside of my finish kit. So, let's go. All right, the first important note, my finish kit was uncreated. I specifically asked it to be uncreated and I was able to fit it into RAM 1500, well, just without any issues. I received my complete finish kit, like no back-ordered items. I also ordered my firewall forward, forward kit and I received that with some backorder items. So, finish kit. The major parts, like large parts, are callings. So we have a top and bottom callings for finish kit, for my uh, RV10. Now we have here landing gears. And uh, I must say that specifically the mains are oh, heavy. This is like a really heavy part. So the mains are heavy and the nose, well no, it's like just maybe half of the weight of the mains. We have three uh, wheels here and well it's cool, uh, they are really small comparing to my uh, Piper. Those guys are tiny, tiny small, but this Piper actually has uh, non-standard large wheels to land on any unprepared, uh, well, on most of unprepared, uh, uh, not asphalted uh, surfaces. Now, here we have a tail cone. Oh, <laughs> tail cone. <laughs> Nose uh, uh, prop cone. And uh, with a back plate. I actually have my prop with, also with the cone. I don't know which one I will use, I will see. But that's what I bought separately, my, my prop with a cone. So yeah, with a back plate it comes, like as a kit. Now, and by the way, it's, it's uncut. Like as you can see, it's uncut. But there, is, there are some markings where to cut it for the prop to fit. Well, those are, you know what I'm talking about. I already made a picture. And those are the fairings for the wheels, for the mains. Now, moving slowly here, that's our engine mount. And I want to say a few words about engine mount, something important. So, gentlemen, for you who, who's building now RV10 
and you are near about near to get your finish kit. Keep in mind, if you're getting your engine not from vans or not from like combing and you do not have an option to order what kind of the engine mount you will have well here is a trick let me show you something so that's my engine right it's a standard io540 fuel injected blah 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 uh, it was taken uh, it's rebuilt yeah completely built it has been taken from the removed from the piper at stack i guess maybe not even at stack maybe i need to check a logbook anyway this is the mounting ear for the engine. I have four like those, so we have four identical ones. This opening, this hole, is about two inches. This is wrong one. You need a different one. You need a smaller one. Now, what I'm trying to say is that if your engine comes from the third party, let's say a shop which rebuild it for you, or you just bought your engine from the from someone else make sure that your engine ear mounts are of the proper size you need the Dyna Focal 1 if I'm not mistaken and I have a part number for that and you can easily find it and it's also in Vance instructions so you will need to replace those ear mounts on the engine to be able to fit with the Barry mounts and even here you see it's a Dyna 1 or oh, no it's IO it's it's actually 6 says here 6 but for some reason it says 6 and in fact it's uh, just number 1 because in the manual it's 1 I don't know why it says 6 here so or maybe sorry maybe it's not 6 maybe it's a V1 maybe it's or VI or V1 I don't know but uh, from Vans the manual calls for number 1 Dyna one and the size is a bit over 1.3 inches so you will need those mounting ears now the important part gentlemen oops they cost arm and leg so if you decide to buy them new from like combing or whatever else be prepared to spend maybe 2000 bucks maybe 1500 bucks yeah they are expensive parts but there may be a shortcut for you well first of all if your engine is from the third party company, like from the company who rebuilt it for you, talk with them and ask them to pre-install for you the ears of the correct size. If you have no such possibility, check eBay. I was probably lucky, but I was able to source four of them from eBay, 150 US dollars each so 155 something like that so maybe it's a good price I found it's a good price comparing to what I saw the cost like about 600 bucks each or 500 bucks each from some salvage yards I said oh hell no it's, it's really expensive for this little part but it's a critical part as you understand that's the engine mount so that's super critical anyway that's my little recommendation for you about the engine mounting ears now let's continue here that's my firewall forward kit yeah just tiny parts well first of all something is on the back order still but it's fine um for example the buffling kit on the back order something i already had like a starter alternator that i already got elsewhere so i just opted to order that um we have here that's our inlet we have some hoses here yeah lots of hardware which I still have to go through and check everything some other parts and something is still on the back order so that's fine now we have seats actually the front seats are the only seats you receive in the finished kit because obviously your rear seats you will build during your fuselage construction and foam foam comes for all seats so basically you receive a foam and you receive two seats very nice seats I like quality very much so it's really nice it's Oregon Aero company who does those and I like the quality I know a little bit about seats I, I, I like how they made well I don't know what is that part to be honest some fairing but those metal spot metal parts attached are for the doors for sure and my guess those are like door latches now doors 
Doors, yes, doors, oh, we have four doors. Yeah, don't be surprised, you have a SUV, you have four doors. Anyway, just kidding. Two doors, but each door uh, basically comes in two parts, which will have to be attached and glued wherever the fiberglass to, it, to each other. So we have four doors. They are not pre-cut, so you have to cut everything. Like there basically doesn't fit. They fit, but I tried and it's really ugly, so you have to do everything. So doors are, well, as I heard, it's a significant part in time you have to spend on the doors, but it's fine, it's cool, it's nice, and it's fiberglass, <clears throat> which I hate, but anyway, I'll do that. Now, again, coming back to the um, fuselage kit part. So that was our firewall forward, but engine mount comes with the fuselage, uh, with, sorry, I'm sorry, with the finishing kit, and that's our finishing kit. Now, we have a wheel, wheels, actually, that's our little tiny nose wheel. Here we have two hour mains. Uh, tubes, <laughs> that's cool, huh? we have three tubes. Brakes for main, so obviously we don't have any brakes on the nose wheel. Um, as you, if you didn't know, <laughs> and uh, I don't know what is that. I guess it's a part for the uh, sub kit, but uh, my guess is that is for the landing gears. Yeah, most likely. Anyway, that's for landing gears for sure. I didn't open it yet. And hardware again. We have lots of hardware here, so everything I have to go through and check. Uh, yeah, all hardware, hardware, hardware. Those are some fairings, uh, fiberglass fairings. That is actually for the oil cooler, but I already got one and I already installed one. As well as those two I already have. So gentlemen, if someone needs that, I'm willing to sell or trade it, but I, I doubt someone of you need it. But those two parts, <laughs> I basically don't need because I already have them. Now, that's a... Uh, nose wheel fork if i'm not mistaken yes with some i guess some parts for it that's the ceiling uh, uh for the door but i opted for a different model different one when it arrives i'll show you i'll make a video about that i mean i'll include it in one of my videos so that i will probably don't need to because according to many reviews those are attaches to the door and the quality and well it's not so good, I don't know. Uh, I didn't try, so I don't want to guess or say something, but I ordered a different type of the door seal, and my door seal will arrive soon, and as soon as it arrives, I'll tell more about it. Uh, well, basically, that's all finished kit. That's my set. Here, oh, okay, here it is. This is the kit, which is a door latch indicator system. Okay, door latch indicator system based on the red light to red light release and I guess uh, it's a whole sensor like magnetic sensor um, kit and of course windows the windows are right there I didn't open them yet and you know what I will likely start my build with the mains nose wheel engine mount I will hang the engine and after I have that done I will move on to the doors. Why I want to do like that? Well, we'll talk about that in my video when I start to work on my finish kit. Uh, but I have some plans for that. So yeah, that's about it. That's about a kit. It takes some space in my hanger. I now have to put it nicely on my shelves and it shouldn't be that long before I start to work on it. And you know what? I'm really happy now because I'm I have everything now and I have all summer ahead to work and yeah, that's good. So thank you for watching this short video about my finish kit and uh, feel free to ask a questions if you do have any. And once again, thank you to Fred for assisting me yesterday for this trip and helping me to get everything into Canada. And uh, that's it, that's all. Have a good one. See you in the next video. Bye.